Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangles part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Having understood the figures on the same base and between the same parallel, let's try to understand in a more uh, detailed way and let's try to understand the figures instead of figures, let's try to understand the parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallel. Let's do an activity for this. Let's draw two parallelograms on the graph people. Same graph people, and let's draw two parallelograms such that they have same base and between the same parallel lines as explained. So let's this be one parallelogram and let this red one be another parallelogram with the same base. If you see both this parallelogram have the same base. Okay? And the vertices, if you see this vertices. If you join these vertices, it will form a line, and this line will be parallel to this line. So let's do this AB, the common base, and CD is one parallelogram, and EF is another parallelogram. So AB, FE is one parallelogram, and AB, CD is another parallelogram. Both are on the same base and between the same parallels. Now, note the area. Note the area of this red parallelogram and the area of blue parallelogram. How will you find the area of this parallelogram? Just count the number of squares. So if you see this red blue parallelograms, count the number of squares. All the squares which are in the blue parallelograms. Okay. Just take visualize only blue parallelograms and count the number of squares. That is nothing but these squares and these squares. Okay, count them and then what you can do is you can count the number of squares in this red one, these ones. Okay, you will see that the count is same. It's not exact same because the calculations in your graph it will be almost same. So with that you can conclude that the area of A, B, C, D and area of F, A, B, F, E where these two were on the same base, same base and the same parallel, their area is same. That is an activity to do that. And we can do one more activity here. We can take a parallelogram in the cardboard. This is the real cardboard with a parallelogram in a human parallelogram shape. What we can do is we can cut one triangle from this part. And the same triangle we can actually put it here. So if you see, if you notice these two parallelogram now, the first parallelogram with this, we have made this as another parallelogram. Both these, this one, the first option, the second option, both are actually parallelogram. And notice that both have same base. So let me first uh, put a dot here on the base. So this is the base. This is one point. And this is one point. So we notice that both this parallelogram, the parallelogram one, and the future parallelogram. Both have same base, no? This has the same base, right? And now you notice that when these lines, this is the old point, this is the new point, and this is the this point of the line. So the four points which we have are actually lying on the same line, right? And this line is actually parallel to the base, and let me name the base of the AB at least. Okay, let me name this point A, B, C, D, and this is. So the old parallelogram was parallelogram A B C D. The new parallelogram is parallelogram A B D F, and they are actually, if you see, on the same base and in the same parallel. And you see why? Because all these lines uh, C E and E C F D. The line E D is actually parallel to A B. Of the line, and this line is parallel to A B. So they are the parallelogram on the same base and the same parallel, and they have the same area. Why? Because if you see the whole thing we made from the same cardboard, right? the same cardboard, this area is same, and from the same cardboard, if we cut a triangle, the same triangle if we put it here, the area has to be same. Right? The same, the same triangle we have cut, and we have put it here. So the area is same. Right? The area of this, both the figures, the area of the previous parallelogram, ABCD, and the area of the new parallelogram. A, B, E, F, both are 
this is something which we concluded from our activity. The activity, the activity which we performed just now helped us to conclude that the area of two parallelograms on the same base and the same parallel are same. Okay. This is a theorem. The theorem is that parallelogram on the same base and between same parallelogram on the same parallels are equal. That is the theorem, we have to prove it. So let's give some number A, B, C, D, and mark this as So given what is given? Given that A, B, C, D, and E, F, C, D are parallel on base. They are also between same parallel. Same parallel. That is something by construction you can see that A in BF is parallel to BC. Or I can say that A in BF is parallel to C. So we have to prove that area of the first parallelogram is equal to area of the second. So if you see this area, the blue area, and this blue area, if you see it is a common area, this is a common area. You can draw the dots. This is a common area. Or I can say that the area of ABC is what? The area of ABC is a little bit, the area of triangle. Plus the area of ABC. Correct? This area and this area. And the area of EFCD is what? The area of triangle BCF by EFCD plus the area of same ABCD. You see, area of ABCD is nothing but triangle AD plus ABCD. Similarly, area of BFC is nothing but area of red parallelogram BFCD is nothing but area of this triangle BFCD. You can take BFC, you can take BCF, or you can take FCB, anything is same because the area is same. Right? When you talk about congruency of the triangle, then you say ABC or BCA or CBA, they differ, but in talk about area, it's all same because the area is same. The oriented area, the right side area is same. Okay, this triangle plus area of ABC is not common. So we have to actually prove that the area of triangle AED is equal to area of triangle ABC. Right. So we have to prove that area of this triangle and this triangle is the same. If we can prove that, we can actually put this theorem. We know that two congruent figures, that means area same. So if two figures are congruent, that means the area is same. So actually we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So let's draw this one. This is common to this first. This is A E D. This is B F C. We have to prove that triangle we have to take from this direction A D E is common to triangle with this direction B C F. That is what we have to prove. Okay. And this is something we can prove. We know how to prove two triangles to be common. Let's try that. 
angle A this angle and this angle B but they are corresponding so this angle is equal to okay. now since D E C F is a parallelogram the sides will be equal that is D will be equal to C F so D will be equal to C F that goes to that since A B C D is a parallelogram A B will be equal to B C A D is equal to B C so A D will be equal to B C this goes to that okay and then angle E this angle and this angle will also be equal right this is a uh, because ED and FC are parallel. Right? Because ED FC is a parallel. ED and FC are parallel. So ED and FC is parallel. And AF is a transversal. So that angle E and angle F will be equal. So this angle will also be equal to this angle. You can easily prove that they are common. See, all the triangles, all the angles are equal actually. So this angle will be to this angle, this angle will be to this angle. This angle also will be to this angle. Why? Because 180 degree minus this plus this. Law. All the three angles are equal, cross point angles are equal, these two sides are also equal. So, in fact, by angle, angle side also we can prove. Okay? So, by angle, angle side, these two triangles are common. Okay? I'll not write here, if you want, I can write this. This angle A is equal to angle F or A E B is equal to angle E F C. Same thing here also cross bonding angle, but in this case A D is parallel to F C. The next one is side. Side we have told that it is equal to FC. Right? The opposite side of parallelogram EFC. Therefore, triangle AD is common to triangle BCF by angle and side. Since they are triangle, therefore, area of AD is equal to area of BCD. Since this area is same, then that's what we have to prove, right? We have, to, we have proved this. Since this area is same, we can say that area of this is equal to this. You can actually in this add this common area, both side, left side to right hand side, like this. And then you can say that area of ABCD is equal to area of EFDC. So many ways of proving it. Right? Since we have proved this, this is a theorem. Okay. So let's take some examples of this. ABCD is a parallelogram and EFCD is also a parallelogram. There are two parallelograms here. ABCD is one and EFCD is one parallelogram. AL is parallel to DC. Sorry, AL is perpendicular to DC. Prove that area of ABC is equal to ABC. There are various ways of proving it. One by theorem. So we can say that DC side actually is common to both the parallel and we have discussed. So one is EFDC. So that is EF, ABC. Both this parallelogram DC is a common side. Plus, if you join these vertices, you will get a line. You will get a line and this line will actually parallel to CD. Right? So EB is parallel to CD. Why do you can just visualize this? See, EAF, 
And all these are uh, lines and AF, AB is parallel to CD, EAB, EF is parallel to CD, and they are all in the same line, so AB is also parallel to CD. This is surely a case of two parallelograms, the same base and with the common parallels. That is why area of these two parallelograms is the same. And so, therefore, we can say that triangle A, B, C, D, and B, C, D are the same base C, D, and between. Therefore, area of parallelogram ABCD will be equal to area of ABCD. Now, area of ABCD, ABCD. So, area of ABCD is equal to what? Area of EFCD. What is the area of EFCD? EFCD is what? A rectangle. Remember? Base into height. What is the base? BC into height. That is AL. Because AL is equal to ED. EFC is a rectangle given, right? So AL will be equal to ED. This is the Thus, we can see that area of ABC is nothing but DC into L. Correct? See, directly you can't see that area of ABC is equal to DC into L. Area of ABC, ABC is a Parallelogram. Area of ABCD parallelogram is equal to area of EFCD rectangle, and area of rectangle EFCD is nothing but DC into ED, and ED is nothing but AL. So we can say that it is nothing but DC into AL. But since ED is equal to AL, it should have to be AL. Okay. And with this also we can see that we all directly can apply the area of parallelogram. Area of parallelogram is nothing but any side into corresponding on the shoot. So area of parallelogram A B C D this parallelogram is what? That is any side DC into corresponding on the will there. I can directly also say that area of parallelogram ABC is nothing but DC into L. So many ways of solving the same problem. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.